What's going on guys? It is Murdering here back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about Geomancer. Everyone noticed he was completely busted when he came out this morning. There's been a hotfix. I'm actually recording during this hotfix now. I want to explain a few things. I did get to have a conversation with people at Plarium just to give you guys an idea of where they stand. So not all hope is lost because this is a pretty big nerf to the champion. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So as we can see here from my key this morning, I did 1.1 billion damage. You can do 5 billion damage with this champion in this team. And this is what happened with this champion if you weren't around for or aren't aware. So we get a change that happened to Geomancer's passive. This wasn't intended for this patch, however, they decided to push it forward. This is why we got no notice on this. This is going to be a sensitive topic because I'm pretty sure Geomancer was a guaranteed champion and a nerf like this is going to affect it for sure. One thing I do want to let everyone know about is they confirmed they're not going to be changing under Priest Bragni, even though he worked in a similar way, which was a bit strange for me to hear. However, that is the word from them as of this moment. So as we can see here, what they did was on the bottom here, when deflecting damage has a 60% chance of dealing additional damage equal to 4% of the target's max HP. Now you can see why it was broken when it first came out. It was taking 4% uncapped of the clan boss's damage. So if you were doing Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, it was a massive, massive amount of damage per proc here, equaling up to, I think, 26 or 46 million damage per proc, which was crazy, can occur once per enemy attack if there are multiple champions in the team with this skill, only one will activate. Now, they made this because it was their interpretation that everyone was running the War Master Mastery here to utilize his champion, get extra damage from his passive. However, as anyone who knows who uses this champion, you do in fact use Giant Slayer. The difference between Giant Slayer and War Master is massive in this case here. So this ended up being a substantial nerf to this champion overall. However, I do want to tell you guys that officially from them, they said that if there's enough investigation into the fact that his damage was reduced significantly because of this change, they are going to re-look at it and reapply it to make it make more sense with the Giant Slayer Mastery instead of the War Master Mastery. So he would be doing more damage. He would be more viable in dungeons because if you take him anywhere right now, he's going to be much worse than you remember. And that is not their intention at all, according to them. So that is the good news. I don't think I've heard anything like this before. They didn't have this approach at all with Eurogrim. They said pretty finalized that we're going to nerf him because he's too strong and we're comfortable and happy with the level Eurogrim's currently at right now. So that's all fine and dandy. However, with Geomancer, they went a little bit different on their approach here, and they said we wanted to tune the numbers down, make it work a different way, compensate the effect after removing the reflect effect for proccing War Master and all these other things for this champion specifically, and they wanted to kind of compensate it, like I just said, on the actual passive itself, but they did miss that key point where they were assuming players were using War Master, and they were in fact using Giant Slayer, so... That's the good news here. I do have hope that they're going to get the feedback. I mean, listen, anyone in their right mind knows that it's going to be a big issue using this guy now, especially if you were counting on him for a two key or a one key in the Ultra Nightmare Clan boss or the Nightmare Clan boss. He's just not going to do it anymore. The damage was too big of a hit to this champion. So it's okay to riot. I'm never going to say that again, trust me, but it's okay to riot now because they're going to be watching and they're going to be listening to that. And I think they're going to understand pretty quickly that they did make a massive mistake, not only releasing him broken like he did, albeit it was fun to kind of do the clan boss and see a billion damage i think it took one turn or two turns to hit the one key mark which is really cool it doesn't look like they rolled back any of the clan boss metrics here as we can see i did it twice here just to play around with it a little bit so it doesn't look like they rolled any of this back so with that being said people did get some type of freebie if they did use this champion i know a lot of guilds on my stream earlier were saying we just killed nightmare people were soloing ultra nightmare clan boss themselves and they never killed it so many guilds are going to be unlocking ultra nightmare after that little bug that happened and even though it's not going to be a long time thing it definitely was cool to play around with so that's the current state of geomancer what do you guys think i'm very hopeful like i said because they used certain words and they voiced certain opinions much different than they have in the past for nerf champions. They have reverted a nerf before 
it wasn't really a huge nerf. It was to Duchess. They changed the cooldown of some things because people complained they made her pretty much unusable for clan boss, which she isn't really commonly used for clan boss anyways, but they did take that feedback and they applied it and reverted a part of a nerf that they did do to Duchess. So after they disclosed that information to me, I was pretty happy to hear that they are looking at this and taking it a bit more seriously than other nerfs and other feedback people do give from the nerfs. So I do think he's going to return to normal. With all of that being said, really only time is going to tell what's going to happen with this champion. I do believe it is in game at the moment in news. If we do hit read more, this champion should be here. And like I said, a lot of people were taken by surprise. And I do want to clarify once again, just in case you missed it when I said it the first time, this was not supposed to come into effect here. And it's kind of confusing how they listed War Master and Giant Slayer here, even though according to them, they think it's only War Master. So maybe they're just covering their tracks here and this was put into the news update. However, they did appear to be, and I know I use the word appear and I have to be careful with that, but they did appear to be pretty genuine in the fact that they are going to look at the feedback realistically because they didn't want to nerf this champion out of viability. They want to make sure people can still use him. And as he currently sits, the fact that it can't proc more than once, it's only 4% chance. It's only 4% of the target's max HP. It's just not going to cut it in the long run. Other things that we weren't expecting from this update that ended up making it into it is Septimus's AI was changed, which was good. He was using his Holy Sword for like pretty much no reason at some times, messing up his extra turn usage. Calvalix, Corruption, Locust Skill, don't know too much about that. Rorik, Wormbrain was a major problem. Being a recent fusion champion, only using certain skills, missing out on Dragon's Rage and Scale Breaker skills, that was huge and a really terrible downside, but they fixed that now, so that is good. There are a few other quality of life changes here, but other than that, everything else that we see is what we've been expecting, and is something that I went over on this channel, and I'm sure a lot of people read from the early release of this update as to what we were to expect. So that's going to conclude the update on this guy, what to expect. As we can see here, I think this is going to be a major concern here. And it's funny, I just saw this pop up here. People are going to see the absolutely busted Geomancer damage, and they're not going to realize that by the time they get him six starred, fully booked, masteried, he's not going to be doing a billion damage. I mean, common sense wise, I think most people should understand this isn't going to stay in the game. This was never intended to. It was a major bug. I think they were pretty clear about it in Discord, how it wasn't working as intended. I'm not sure if they made any mention in game. I can actually check that really quick. They should have if they haven't. And it looks like they didn't post anything in game, which if I were them, I would post something right now saying he's not working as intended he's bugged make sure players know because you really hate to see fully ranked up geomancer because you know this guy's watching everyone do a billion damage and since the update is already in effect into the game by the time they start using him he is going to be extremely extremely disappointed and you hate to see it because it does take quite a few resources to six star ascend six times mastery a champion book a champion so hopefully they get on that a bit quicker than they currently have been they did address the nerf pretty quickly. I think in total it was live for maybe three, four hours or so. So it was enough time for a lot of people to get that post on their daily clan boss damage here. Letting their whole clan see and tons of pictures of course have been spiraling throughout all the discords, reddit, so on and so forth. So it's good to see they are taking a decent step in the right direction. However, what they do with it, we're going to have to wait and see next. How are you guys feeling about it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. And I'll see you all in the next video.